You. Yeah, you. You. Right there. All right. So we're going to do something a little bit different. So today, I think we're going to talk about why, not why Deathslinger's perks aren't very good or why I think they're not very fucking good. But we're going to not go into depth. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know if I'm going to be good at this shit. I'm going to try. But mainly, we're going to be talking about why Deathslinger's three perks that he starts off with are not that great. And I'm going to explain why. So, and then after, we'll probably go into a match. But yeah, I... I saw somebody make a video kind of similar to this, not go into detail like we're about to do, but kind of just play the game and talk about why the perk and using the perk and why the perk isn't, or perk, perks, whatever, whatever the fuck, my titties are big, why the perks aren't that great. So yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to talk about them. We're going to get into a match using probably one of the perks because two of the perks, in my opinion, aren't very viable at running. So. When I talk about these perks, we're looking at a Red Ranks perspective and kind of at a, at a higher level of play and why that perk is either fucking retarded, it's not going to work, not good, or it's somewhat decent and has some sort of potential, but if there's just another perk that does the same thing that perk does and isn't, it, I'm going to shit on the perk and yeah, I'm going to give my opinions of what I think they should change about the perk. Um, and yeah, I don't know how this is going to fucking go, this is either, either going to be really good or really fucking bad, so let's fucking do this. Alrighty, so Deathslinger's three main perks, Gearhead, Deadman Switch, and Hex Retribution, in my opinion, are probably the three worst perks I've ever seen in my fucking career, no, I'm, I'm going out of the gate shit on these perks, these perks are really bad, especially at Red Ranks. So, I'm gonna start off with Gearhead. Gearhead. After hitting a survivor two times with your basic attack, Gearhead activates for 20 seconds, or... What is it, like, 40 seconds? I fucking have it right here. Where's it at? So yeah, after hitting a survivor two times with your basic attack, gear hood activates for 30 seconds. I think the max is 30 seconds, so you can't get above 30 seconds. Each time a survivor completes a good skill check while repairing, the generator will be revealed by a yellow aura for as long as it's being repaired. So, hit somebody twice and you get 30 seconds of vision, but the thing with this perk is that why would you waste a slot on this perk when you have surveillance and you can pair surveillance up with like maybe like pop or something to be fair gearhead does give you a lot of vision but at, if they're working on separate gens it is really not going to matter that much i mean i guess you could say that with other perks like surveillance but gearhead it doesn't do anything to benefit you in getting pressure just it just gives you vision why would i use this why would I waste a, a perk slot on this perk when I can either use Barbecue and Chili, which is a thousand times better than this perk, Surveillance, I'm trying to think of more vision, Thrilling Tremors, like, this perk doesn't do enough, in my opinion, to deserve a perk slot at Red Ranks. I've realized with a lot of Deathslinger's perks, or not with both of the two of Deathslinger's perks, I've realized they're pretty much a shittier version of perks already in the game, which... From a developer standpoint, you, ha I'm trying to think like you know I I don't understand the dead by day like that. I'm pretty much gonna shit on them right here. I don't understand what the fuck goes through their mind when they make perks like this. This, is, this might be a little rant, but in all honesty, I think that's what we all think. Like all the higher level players, they have to be looking at these perks like why the fuck like, especially with the meta is now and how fa fast gens go, you would expect them to make perks and maybe not slow down gen time, but be able to put more pressure around the map and you know actually do something. But yeah, Deathslinger's second perk, Deadman Switch. You become obsessed with one survivor. After hooking the obsession, Deadman Switch activates for the next 35 seconds. While activated, any survivor that stops repairing a generator before it's fully repaired causes the entity to block the generator until Deadman Switch effect ends. And then effect the generators are highlighted by white aura, so pretty much a shittier version of Thrilling Tremors. <laughs> this one, this is, this is... It's pretty much a shittier version of Thrilling Tremors. This perk is fucking trash. Like, I guess you could you could pair it with Thrilling Tremors, but why am I going to waste a perk slot on this shit when I have Thrilling Tremors? Even though Thrilling Tremors is on a 60 second cooldown, like, you will never use Dead Man Switch by itself. Unless you're fucking tunneling the shit out of the obsession. You are never... You're mainly... If I had to guess, if you're lucky, you're mainly going to be using this twice a match. Is that worth one perk slot to you guys? 
you're honestly better off putting you can you can fucking put uh, what is what is that uh, what is that perk brutal strength you can use brutal strength I'd rather use brutal strength in this piece of shit perk this perk is bad like really what well, I'm trying to think of a shitty killer perk that I'd rather use than this piece of shit this perk probably not the one of the worst perks in the game but has to be at like at least like top five top ten why would you use this instead of using thrilling tremors like I you can the only time I can fit this into a build is if I pair this with thrilling tremors but at the end of the day I don't want to waste a perk slot and then why would I waste that when I could put like replace that with pop or like ruin or fucking corrupt intervention it doesn't make sense to replace any perks in my build with dead man switch it it's just really bad. But yeah, Deathslinger's last perk I actually think has some sort of potential. I still don't think it's that good, especially at Red Ranks. I don't think it's that good, but it has a little bit of potential. Hex Retribution. Any survivor who cleanses a dull totem will suffer the oblivious status effect for 35 seconds. I haven't alright, so I actually have a problem with this perk, so I'm gonna go over it first. So the oblivious status effect is where they can't hear your terrority. I think they can't see your red stain either. So for 35 seconds, but yeah, I'll, I'll wait till I explain everything. If any Hex Totem is cleansed, including this one, the auras of all survivors are revealed for 10 seconds, which I think is really freaking... That's what we're going to... This perk, this is the perk we're going to use today. This perk, I think, paired with other Hex Totem perks, can be really useful, but it's very... The thing with Hex perks is that it's very... It's super situational, and it's kind of not RNG. It kind of is RNG, but... RNG where your hex ruin or your hex totems or placements are and when they're gonna cleanse that certain ruin. So let's say I use Haunted Ground and this perk and let's say they break the Haunted Ground. Their ores are gonna be revealed but there can be a chance that instead of getting Haunted Ground they could cleanse Retribution so it doesn't give me that guarantee factor that a regular perk would. So this perk I think it's inevitable that we're gonna have shitty perks in Dead by Daylight but I think this perk, it's a bad perk, but I don't think anything should be done with it because you could actually do stuff with that perk. Not like the other perks where you can't fucking really do much with them. But with this perk, actually has some sort of potential, and that's what we're going to use today. So, okay, let me explain what I would do to all of these perks. Like, how I would change them and give my opinion on what I think they should do to make them somewhat viable. I think with Hex Retribution, so when somebody cleanses a dull totem, right? They get affected with the Oblivious status effect, but the game doesn't tell you that they get affected with the Oblivious status effect. I think this perk has a lot of, not a lot of potential, has some potential. And it's still a bad perk, but at least has, you can do something with it. I think if this perk told you when somebody cleansed a dull totem, it would give you a notification that somebody's affected with the Oblivious status effect. I think that would be actually really helpful, because if somebody cleansed a dull, uh, dull totem, you don't know when... Or, yeah, when or how long the Oblivious status effect is on. So if it actually gave you that information that somebody has the Oblivious effect right now, probably like the, what, like the right side of the map? Or right side of your, uh, your HUD? And it's like a little circle and it goes on cooldown? I think that would be actually really useful and probably make this perk a little bit more viable because when somebody cleanses a dull totem, you just, you don't, you, you don't know, you know? But yeah, honestly, I think Hex Retribution is fine. But we're gonna talk about these piece of shit ass fucking poopy perks. So, Dead Man Switch, I, I, this perk needs to be completely reworked. This perk, like, it's fucking, it's literally, I'm trying to think, it's, I'm trying to think of a, a thing to say for this fucking perk. This perk is Thrilling Tremor's retarded ass brother. I'm being dead ass. It, it's his retarded ass brother that fucking nobody wants. This perk is bad. Really bad. If I had to make a recommendation to get this rework and what it would do fuck i actually didn't think about this what would i change like if i could change this perk what would i do Ooh, i actually thought of something yo so what if instead of this dumbass shit that we're reading right now that's absolutely hurting my fucking brain <laughs> what if dead man switch once you hook not your obsession eh, i'm trying to think because if it's not your obsession it can be op what if Dead Man Switch, when you hooked a survivor, blocked all the gens that people are on, so it forces them to move to other gens for 20 seconds? So at base, probably like 15 seconds at base, and then it goes to 20, 25, 30. I think, oh, that's a long time though, 30 seconds? 
But bro, if you pair that up with Thrilling Tremors though, oh my god, I mean, Thrilling, to be fair, Thrilling Tremors is only activated for 16 seconds though. So I mean, you could do like 10, 15, 20, and then keep it at green. If you were to switch Dead Man's Switch to block generators people were on. But I think if they, bro, if they reworked this whole perk and did that instead, that perk would instantly be really fucking good, especially at red ranks, bro. Pair this with Thrilling Tremors, and you literally will slow the game down so much that it'd be fucking ridiculous. I'm probably, it's, to be honest, it sounds OP as fuck, right? But I feel like once we get into the game, a lot of people will figure out how to play against it, which usually happens with every single perk and every single character. So I think once people got the hang of how to play against it, I think that would be really fucking good, but bro... If Dead Man's Switch blocked all gens for 10, 15, 20 seconds, paired with Dueling Tremors was at 16. So 16 when you pick somebody up, and then block the gens once you hook somebody, that'd be really fucking good. Bro, if they change it like that, I'd find a way to put, like, fix this in my build some way. That'd be fucking awesome. And then Death Slinger's first perk. This piece of shit perk. This piece of shit perk that fucking... Ah, <sighs> this perk is ass, cheeks, buns, fucking uh, cock meat, whatever you can think of, whatever cuss words you can think of, whatever profanity you can think of, that's what this perk is. I mean, no, it's bad, right? But it's not as bad as the second one, so I mean, I'll, I'll cut it some slack. You can call it cock meat, whatever the fuck, for the second perk. But for gearhead, if I had to change anything, I'd rework the whole perk. <laughs> because we already have surveillance, why the fuck do I need this? I mean, to be fair with surveillance though, I guess you have to hit a gen to get the visual effect. And with this, you only have to hit a survivor twice to get the visual effect about everything. But in my opinion, if I I would completely rework this perk to where um one thing Dead by Daylight actually hasn't done yet, which I'm actually surprised. So I'd like to see maybe Gearhead. I have a couple ideas. So I think the first idea, if I were to rework Gearhead completely, I think one thing actually Dead by Daylight hasn't done yet, which I'm actually super duper surprised. So after hitting a survivor twice with your basic attack. Gearhead activates, like, it activates completely, but it has a different effect. So once you get the, um, once you auto-attack a survivor twice, the cooldown on your secondary power is reduced by a certain percentage. I don't, I don't know what percentage, but it's reduced by a certain percent. I'm surprised we don't have more perks that reduce cooldown of certain abilities, and I think if Gearhead did that, oh my god, bro, imagine, imagine, I'm trying to think... I'm trying to think of a cooldown. Not, I'm not talking about cooldown of the progress bar. I'm talking about, like, once you finish using the power, the cooldown of that to let you go back up into your, like, um, what am, I'm going to call it, like, a stance. Call it your uh, attack stance, I guess. To so make you go back to you can, uh, where you can auto-attack. I'm talking about that cooldown. So, like, let's say you use Hillbilly Chainsaw. I'm talking about how fast you lift it back up and take out your main weapon. I think if they had a perk like that, Gearhead fucking fits it absolutely completely because it rewards you for hitting, for mainly playing the fucking game, how it's supposed to be played. So it rewards you for hitting a survivor twice and gives you the, what is it, incentive? Or it gives you motivation to, instead of using your power a lot and making you feel like you're forced to use the power, it rewards you for hitting a survivor with your basic attack. Does that make sense? I think that would be really fucking cool. My second idea I have for the gearhead change is, um, Ah, this is gonna seem super OP, but eh, I don't think it'd be that fucking OP. We have barbecue and chili, I think. So let me let me just say it. So my second idea for like a gearhead change, after hitting a survivor two times with your basic attack, gearhead activates. And once it activates, you know how Legion gets the aura of um when somebody's within his terror radius when um he hits somebody with fire frenzy? What if that same effect happened in the entire map so wh whoever's in your terror radius i mean not not your terror radius but whoever's like around the map once you get two hits with your basic attack and down a survivor or maybe like three hits i think three hits would be nah probably four hits i feel like that would be two or four hits i think would be acceptable but after getting two to four hits on a survivor the legion aura pops so you can see where everybody is around the map seems op as fuck but it's not an aura it's just a, like a, it's like a, a ghost face. It's like, it's a dot. You can't really tell what direction they're going to go if that pops. I think that'd be fucking sick. Probably seems super duper OP, but... Eh? These perks fucking suck. You gotta come up with something. We've been talking too much. Let's get into this shit. 
Our first perk, Hex Retribution. You guys already know what this does. Are you guys? I did just explain. It. You guys, you guys know what this does. Um, fuck. I don't know. It doesn't give us. Inf I mean, it gives us information, but it's very, very, very situational. Uh, it's just mainly gonna give us information, and it's gonna be paired with another perk. With two, actually, two other perks that pair not really well with. I mean, yeah, kind of really well with this perk, but this perk in general is just super duper situational. And if we're able to get the effects at the right place in the right time, can be really fucking effective, but. It's like a 45% chance that Hex Retribution is going to come in absolutely super duper clutch. But if they break one of our perks, Hex Retribution is going to be fucking sick. Then our next perk, Hex Haunted Ground. You guys already know what this is. Paired up with Hex fucking Retribution, dude. If they break... Haunted Ground, we're gonna see everybody's aura for 10 seconds and go on an absolute fucking rampage. And we have 60 seconds to absolutely destroy assholes. Bro, I doubt it's gonna work. I feel like I have to fucking sneeze, dude. I doubt it's gonna work. But, it's a possibility. I don't think it's gonna work. But if it does, I've yet to use Haunted Ground and Retribution effectively. I maybe only have gotten like one down from Retribution with Haunted Ground. But, with the, we're, we're trying to make this... We're trying to make Retribution work, so I think while well, Haunted Ground, it's really gonna... It's gonna do something to make Retribution not useless, you know? <laughs> Anyways, our next perk! Hex! Ruin! You guys already know what this is, gonna settle down in the early game. And yeah, mainly gonna be using the early game. Our last perk, we don't have Corrupt Intervention. I, I don't know how the fuck I didn't unlock Corrupt Intervention for Deathslinger yet. But we don't have Corrupt Intervention, so Hex Ruin isn't gonna be as clutch as it would be if we did have Corrupt Intervention, but our last perk is going to help us fucking immensely. Our last perk is probably going to be the most clutch build, or clutch perk, in this entire build. But Hex Ruin is going to sell them down in the early game, so we can get some sort of early game pressure. And yeah, mainly going to be using the early game. And yeah. Then our last perk! Thrilling Tremors! You guys already know what this is going to give us vision, information, give us a general idea of where everybody is pretty much give us a general idea of where the fuck everybody is where every not hiding but what gen they're on so we can get a general idea of where the fuck they are and get instantly into another chase thrilling tremors is going to be the most clutch perk in this entire build because thrilling tremors if i'm able to run off momentum is going to help us immensely especially with ruin even though ruin i learned that ruin doesn't pop or doesn't regress while thrilling tremors is active which i think is fucking dog shit i didn't know that and so like I think, was it the Doctor video? I think it was the Deathslinger video when you guys told me, um... Ruin doesn't pop when Thrilling Tremors is active, which I think is fucking retarded. I don't know why that's... That's the thing. My, my brain hurts. That's hurt my brain. But yeah, Thrilling Tremors is mainly gonna give us... Gonna give us information and a lot of fucking vision, but mainly gonna be used to block off the gents for 16 seconds so we can instantly get into another chase. We don't have pop, so... Thrilling Tremors... We don't have pop research, so Thrilling Tremors isn't gonna really be as useful as it would be if we didn't have haunted ground so that's why i'm saying like retribution kind of fucking sucks because you have to change you have to take away much needed perks like pop and surge and barbecue like it's just not worth a perk slot but yeah do i think we're gonna do well with this build <sighs> to be honest fuck no are we gonna try yeah then our adults, my friends! Warden's Keys! Moderately increases the Spear Gun's reload time, which means we're gonna be able to reload faster! And bro, our second add-on, we're gonna be a fucking- we're gonna be a literal gunslinger and be able to keep on fucking putting on pressure and momentum. Then our next add-on! Tin Oil Can! Moderately decreases the Spear Gun's cooldown time after missing a shot. So, bro, these two, I, I, these are the only two add-ons that I like using because it, it's really fucking fluent and the amount of pressure we can still put on after missing a shot. It's, we're mainly using this so we don't get punished as much for missing a shot so we can keep on just getting into a chase. Or not keep on getting into a chase, but keep on putting on pressure in that chase instead of them feeling like they're super duper safe. We can just fucking go back and try to snipe them. Then our offering, my friends! Dusty Noose! Tremendously increases the chances to be sent to the grave of Glenvale. When but Deathslinger! 
Are you ready? Oh, hey, hey, hey. The fuck you laughing at? You're looking at your gun and you're fucking laughing. This guy's fucking retarded, dude. You got a big ass nose, too. Deathslinger, we've yet to play you on this new fucking map. And on this new map, this is the map. Why are you not fucking paying attention? Bro! This is the map where you can make sick ass shots, cross maps. You make. Bro, you can trick shot on this map. And he's laughing too because he knows he wants to fuck a trick shot. I'm not gonna hit any trick shots this game 100% whatsoever. Oh, wait. What are you guys wanting me to do 360? Oh, shit. We're gonna try to hit a fucking 360 this game. He's ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna get into this shit. Dead Dog Saloon! The Grave of Glenvale. Alright, so the one thing I will say about this map, I fucking love this map. Whoever, whoever, the design team is fucking awesome with everything they've been doing. But bro, the one thing I will say about this map, against Survivor Friends, you will get your asshole eaten up. And the one thing I really hate are these fucking doors. It's a what the fuck object. Is that? Hold on. No, 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 no. Let's do this. What the fuck? You're so fat. I see you. Can I snipe him? Oh my god, that was so fucking close. Did they break all the ground? Retribution! Oh my god, am I gonna be able to do this? I have an idea. Oh shh. Break this? What? Do not just jump down! You did jump down! Snipe him. Gotcha, bitch! Mmm. Ah. the ground. Come here, reloading. Or not, not come here. What the fuck? Come here, reloading. Ah, uh, get the haunted ground. I don't think we're gonna be able to get another one. Get the haunted ground and get fucking some sort of momentum through. We have no momentum going in. Don't try to pop. They're on that gym. Get him, Mark, and pay the price of death! I didn't give you a nickname, dude. Retribution popped again, but that's a ruin, though. That, that Retribution's actually coming in really useful, and I see somebody right there, too. Might be able to get somebody, though. I have, like, 20 seconds left on haunted ground. No, 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 she's gonna be waiting for me right here. Maybe? Shh. Go upstairs. Didn't go upstairs. If I snipe this guy, oh my god, I will lose my fucking my tits. I will lose my mind. <sighs> no, damn. You back here? Or back here? No, 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 don't get stuck! Oh, oh, that was a cross snap! No, 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 don't go back, don't go back! Gotcha, bitch! Oh my god, I did not think I was gonna get that, that was sick, bro! I saw the hit 360. Get up, Dr. Flesh! Are you Dr. Flesh or are you therapist, bro? You gotta look like a therapist. The only time popped, let me jump to my right. Get him, okay, pay the price of death! <laughs> Fuck, since we don't have Hex Ruin, this is gonna be really fucking tough. I wish Haunted Ground or Retribution lasted a little bit longer. You're my right, aren't you? You motherfucker. Didn't meet me? Didn't meet me. I gotta break that door, dude. That's the one thing I hate about the breakable walls. You have to break them, especially at this area right here, or you have to take the window. This takes way too long. This chick went back. What the fuck? I'm gonna see if I can bait it. I don't wanna waste. Yeah, I did bait it. Thank you for wasting your time! We hit. Nice. Snipe. Yeah, I called that shit! Now get your ass over here! Now! Ooh, fuck me, dude. Yeah, we're hitting sick out and that guy's object. What am I gonna call that? I didn't even give this chick a name, bro. I'm not even gonna give this chick a name. You unknown name. You're unknown! You're the Pokemon unknown! Get him up and pay the price of death, unknown! She's like black and white, just like the Pokemon. That's crazy. I know this chick is above me too. Are you in a locker? If you're in a locker, I'm gonna fucking put my fingers in your boat. Not here. Kill confirmed! Yo. What the fuck? There's two of you! Ah! What? Smurfers? Why the fuck was that not a hit? Alright, the one thing I will do, I need to break these doors. I have to. I really don't want to waste time breaking these doors, but I really like. You went down? Did go down. Who the fuck are you? Nerd flesh? Are you nerd flesh? I'm a, I don't know what the fuck. What the fuck? Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you not wait? I wasn't gonna go for you, but I mean, I guess. Who the fuck? Oh my god, this guy's like a bug. This is bug flesh, bro. He moves around like a fucking snake. Snake flesh? Nah, snake is too cool. Meet me. Yep. Kill confirmed. I know somebody else is right here too. We're gonna finish that gen, dude. Yeah, like look how many doors there are, boo. There's way too many windows you have to break that it literally just. 
it kind of forces you to not take this loot because it's just there's so many unnecessary walls like if there were like maybe three walls like if that wall wasn't there that wall was there or like that window wall wasn't there it'd make a lot more sense but like there's just way too many walls in that area in my opinion all right motherfucker get him okay pay the price of death Boop. Pop. Yeah, now this made me wish I had Pop and Surge. Pop or Surge? I think, no, Surge. Especially for playing this map, too. Are you meeting me down here? You are now still down here. Oh, bro. Oh, oh, god damn. You guys are fetching just like it's nothing. We gotta run up Sunset. Is someone in my left? Oh, what the Motherfucker, I knew I heard somebody. Who's that? Oh, unknown flesh. Take a hit. You gonna take a hit for your teammate? Nice. Got that shit? Thank you very much. Appreciate your support. Snipe. Gotcha, bitch. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Relax, relax. Not gonna be able to get her. Damn, dude. Ooh. No, 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 no. Can I take this? Wait. You were dropping everything. Oh, reload right here. She's dropping everything. Drop it. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, oh, that was sick, dude. No, 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 no. You're not doing that to me. I read you like a camel. Get old cherry flesh. No, that's not cherry flesh. I can't disrespect her. She Rose flesh? No, but that's so fucking lame. Clownfish. No, but clownfish is the orange. I don't know what the fuck to call you. Get a market, pay the price of death, clownfish. Doing tremors pop, too? Not on those gems. Uh, what? I should break that pallet behind me, but I feel like I can probably maneuver my way around that with my uh, chain. I see your fat ass. No, I gotta go on this gem, 100%. You gonna meet me? No, he did. There's my retribution. I cannot believe I missed that. Come in reloading! I'm gonna let that shit go because he's not doing anything right now. I see you there for the fall. She's gonna try to juke my shit in the street. I'm gonna get that free hit. Go over. Get the free hit. Nope! I knew I could get a free hit right there! I felt it in my veins! Oh, I can't be reloading. Can I jump over and trick her ass? She went down, didn't she? Oh, damn, dude, I would've hit her right there, too. Can I meet her? No, I'm gonna keep that pallet there. And I know somebody's on my left. I'm gonna let this shit go, let her heal, and then I'm gonna go for the guy on my left. This is fucking- who's this? This guy's one shot, right? I saw somebody in my right, too. Damn, it's Go for the trick. I think that's unknown flesh on my left, right? If she runs to the fucking, uh, is she? Shh. Yeah, she probably did run to the fucking, oh, what the fuck. Yeah, this is not looking good right now. And I know they're on the gen to my left. This is going to be super duper tough. Alright, so this gen isn't too bad. If I can get this chick down, I could probably run off of some sort of momentum. No, I'm not going to be able to run for her career. Yeah, this map against Survival Friends, you will get your asshole fucking beaten, fucking ripped it open, ripped in half. Where the fuck does she go, huh? She went above, she can jump over. Oh, she went down. What the fuck is this chick? This chick is just fucking being a maniac! Mm, I think she gets that again. Can you see me? Oh, you didn't go bad. Impressive! Yeah, no, I knew I wasn't gonna win this shit. But if we had maybe like pop or like surge or something like that, I think we had a what had a what the fuck? Kill confirmed! But yeah, if we didn't have a haunted ground or retribution, I think we'd probably do a lot better. Like if we had like I probably would have swapped it for like pop and I'm trying to think of another perk off the top of my head. I, I really can't. Therapist flesh! Get him off and pay the price of death! But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. This perk is not very good. <laughs> you can't really pair it with anything. Go over. I'll just go. But yeah, I would not recommend using this perk. I really pulled the fuck. Oh, fuck that hit the guy. I'm repeat again. Boop. Nah, good boy. Maybe if I, I if, if I get a what the fuck aim, I want him to juke a little bit. If I get two kills, I'll be happy. I can do the snipe stuff. Oh, well, eyes on the snipe. Ooh, I baited you, buddy. No, no, you don't get that, darling. Kill confirmed! I didn't think that guy was gonna fucking, uh, I thought that guy had dead on. You don't get the door. I think this guy's dead, right? 
Yeah, I think... I'm trying to think. Yeah, Haunted Ground, I definitely would be using Pop. I think Overcharge 2 wouldn't be bad. Or like, maybe like, Surge. Oh, bro, what if I had saved the best for last? Get him up and bust him down. How the fuck did I hit that chick? Kill confirmed! Am I gonna be able to get this chick? Wait, I have to hit a 360. I'm gonna try to hit a 360. I'm gonna go all the way over here. Damn. Yo, that would have been sick. Come here, reload. Am I gonna be able to kill Therapist Flush? Nah, they're all scared. Yeah, Hex Retribution? Eh, not that good. Brutal Killer! Yeah, I think for this video, I wanted to show why. Because you guys mainly see me like win all the time. I think might as well have like a bad game with this build. But. Yeah, perk. <laughs> Dog shit. <laughs> Don't use Hex Retribution. It's kind of poo poo. You can make it work some way, but uh, most of the time at Red Ranks, it's going to be like complete ass cheeks. What's everybody using? Um, inner Strength, Spine Chill, Sprint Burst, Decisive, Spine Chill, Object of Obsession, Decisive, Burl Time. Three Decisive? I was about to say, it's about time I have one of those three Decisive games. <sighs> you guys tried. I can't even say you guys tried, you failed. Alrighty guys, well that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really fucking appreciate it. If you like this video, please like and sub, and don't forget to hit that notification button to get notified when I upload. But uh, yeah, so pretty much we know that perk is fucking trash. <laughs> it's not, it, cause like you, the thing with Hex Retribution, uh, what the fuck, I don't even remember what the fuck it was called. I think it's called Retribution, right? I have no idea. The thing with that perk is that you have to pair with something else, and it's just, it's so not worth it. And you saw it in that game right there, it's definitely not worth it. If we had other perks that slowed down the early game, I feel like we would have done a lot fucking better. We had sick ass shots though, so I mean, so I mean, eh, it's not too bad. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna upload it to my. I probably will. Um, I actually really want to play. Um, I want to try other videos. Like I don't want. I'm not really in the mood to play Black Eye. I played a uh, Warzone a little bit, and it. I, I don't like it at all. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I like Black Eye more than I do Warzone. I think one of these days I'll stream Blackout and I'll just I'll talk about it and stuff. But I feel like Warzone is just way too slow in the buildings and the sound is just really bad. But uh, yeah, yeah, I really want to try making like a Rainbow video, Rainbow Six Siege video, because I've been playing it a lot recently. It's actually really fucking fun, so I might make a Rainbow Six video if you guys want to watch that. Um, I want to make Smite videos too, because once the new split starts for Smite, I'm gonna probably stream. I know a lot of people, a lot of you guys probably don't know what the fuck it is. But, you know, I'll stream it, and then, what if you guys ever have questions when I stream it, just ask away, and then I'll tell you all about it. Because Smite is actually really fucking fun. I, if you guys didn't know, I played Smite for about, like, we're in 2020 now. I've been playing Smite for five years. I've been playing it for a long fucking time, so the new split starts in about two weeks, I think, a week or two. So, I'm probably going to be streaming ranked a lot, because that's what I like to do on my free time. I usually, um... I try to go for Grandmasters this split, but solo queuing is not the way to go, so it'll probably be my, me and my friend dual queuing uh, Smite Ranked, and yeah, I, I want to try it, because I feel like that'd be really fun and I enjoy playing it, so uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.